Hello everybody. So we're going to do the potting up of the suggestions from those who voted in the little poll that I did. So I asked what people wanted to see me grow, or attempt to grow I should say, and sweet corn, cucumber and tomatoes were the ones that got voted for. So tomatoes were the most voted for one, which is understandable, tomatoes are super cool and versatile. And I must admit, I've never had much luck with tomatoes. So hopefully this year is a little bit different. And uh, we shall see what we shall see. So we're going to start with filling up this little pot. And at the moment I'm thinking of doing kind of like six, and, six, six and six. So six um, cucumber plants, six tomato plants, six uh, sweet corn plants. But... Um, I'll see once I've got them all done up. So this is the compost with perlite mixture and just because it's going to be seedlings you need a lot quite a lot of drainage so they don't kind of like rot the seeds with the water. And um, it is the combination that we used for the strawberry plants and the uh, grapevine as well, which I don't know if you've seen that yet, but um, yeah, hopefully I have more luck this year because it'll be more interesting for me, more interesting for you, and I'll get some nice fruit out of it. So I'm going to fill these up and then we'll be on our way to planting. So I need to go and make some more perlite compost mixture as I'm out and I'll be back. Okay, so now we've got our mixed up um, compost with perlite, okay that was heavy, um, we can finish the filling up of the seed tree. Okay, so now that we've got all of these done, we're going to start planting them. So we're going to start with sweet corn. And it is this type. So it is sweet corn incredible F1. And these are some very old seeds. So seeds, we, um, <laughs> they're supposed to be sown by 2023. So they're a little bit old, but oh well. So if you're curious, this is what they look like. So they're basically um, sweet corn kernels that are dried and we'll just go from there. So we'll start with this row and I'll plant two in each one just in case they like don't grow and then if they both grow then the strongest one will be allowed to continue whilst the other one is removed. I might put three in this one, that was a really small seed. And then we're gonna do some tomatoes. So these are Tumbling Tom tomatoes. And I did try to plant these last year, or the year before potentially, but I didn't really, I didn't get any which was a shame. So I'm just going to plant a whole load in the middle, cover them up and then go from there. Okay, so there's only three seeds left. And it is really windy, so I want to be careful. 
if you can see them. So I'm just going to put these three in the same um, pot. So that's them. And then we've also got these tomatoes. So these are Constolutu Fiorentino. And they're basically the beef eater tomatoes. So we'll try these as well. I don't know how many of these we've got, well, but we shall see. Okay, so we've got plenty of these, so these will be a lot easier to plant up. Still going to put a couple in each one, so maybe like three seeds in each one. And again, these, whilst they're having a lot planted in each one, if one of them does grow, then the res other weaker ones will be taken out of the pot, just so the stronger one has more of a chance of survival. Um, I don't know if I expect them to grow. I mean, they didn't last year, or the year before. <laughs> and so the seeds are obviously older now, but um, we'll see. Hopefully the improved, um, like, conditions and compost that they're in will help but um we'll see and then finally we're going to do cucumber so these are like the gherkin ones and i love gherkins so it'd be super super cool if um these grow into the cucumbers that i can preserve so these seeds are pretty cool if you can see them. So again, I'll put two in each one and leave them to it. Okay, so now that these are planted up, um, I'm going to sprinkle them with some water. And then because it is only March, it is too cold for them to be outside like full time. So I'm going to put them in the shed and they'll have um, direct sunlight because the sun like, goes through the window. And um, when it's raining, it will remind me to water them, hopefully, so they don't die. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated for when the first sprouts start. But uh, let's just go get some water. So because I lost the head of the watering can, I don't actually have anything to kind of like sprinkle it, which would be ideal. So I'm just going to use my hand and then hopefully it doesn't completely drown anything. So we'll just go for like this. So that's them done. And I'm just going to put them in the shed in their new home and then I will let you know, as I said, when they start sprouting. So thank you for watching and hopefully we get some really cool looking plants to look at soon. So I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day guys, bye bye. Hey guys, so it's editing me here now and it's because I am like Jared 19 who never learned how to read. So I said that the voted for options were sweet corn, cucumber and tomatoes and it wasn't, it was... Uh, tomatoes, straw, uh, sweet corn and peas. So I have to come back and plant some peas. So we're going to do exactly what we did with the other ones and fill up some pots. So now that we've got the um, pots ready, we're going to plant some seeds and these are the ones that we're going to use today so that's the name of them and these were packed in July 2021 so they should have been planted last year they clearly weren't so we're going to use them now and we'll see what happens so these seeds look like this and we're going to plant two in each pot and then once these are in there, we're going to water them like we did the others. And once they have been watered, they're going to go in the shed with the other ones. 
and with like the other ones I will keep you updated on how they're doing. So that's them and I'll just get the watering pan. So one thing that I have to do before these are ready to be planted in the ground is to make a um, kind of like stand sort of or tre trellis kind of thing for the plants because obviously they are like vines they are climbing plants and uh, I currently don't have anything like that so I'm just going to build one potentially with some wood and some chicken wire but I am not decided 100% yet so again like everything else I'll keep you guys updated and we'll see how it goes but yeah I'm gonna put these in the shed and leave them to it so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one bye bye